Hi guys, welcome back to the video in the playlist. So in this video, you will be going to see the authentication of the Google sign in. So in the previous video, we have seen the Google sign in UI with animation and the progress bar. So we'll start. We'll start with a Kotlin file. We'll create a authentication view. Okay, we have created a new Kotlin file. So we'll add composable. And then we'll create a function. Inside that we'll, we need to add an error message because if the Google sign in failed, then we need to show the text as an error text. Okay. And then we'll be using on click. And then inside this function, we'll add a scaffold. So this is a layout structure. So uh, this implements the basic material design visual layout structure. So it, uh, it uses like a container inside that we can put uh, whatever the design we can so that uh, we'll put our google sign in button ui inside the container that is the screen so we'll add a column we'll add a modifier for maximum size that is the screen size so we'll align arrangement will be like in center then we'll add horizontal alignment we'll center horizontally align it okay and then here we'll put our google sign in button ui So we'll put our text, loading text, on click method, etc. inside this. And then we'll add our error text. We'll add a space. So the space between them and the text And then uh, we'll add another function for authentication screen auth screen. So in this function, so this is also composable. So we'll give it a name as auth screen. So we'll add a view model. So auth view model, which will be extending our authentication view model, which will do it. And uh, you can see the later on. inside this video itself okay so we'll add some variables inside this so we'll quickly do this add all those variables and then variable text to be remember so we have used a state function, state of composable.
and then use a variable and then we'll add another variable for sign in request code and then we'll assign it a default value to 1 and then we'll create uh, another variable auth result launcher so inside this we'll add a remember launch for activity result so this creates a record in the activity result registry associated with this so managing request code as well as conversions from intent to so this must be called unconditionally as part of initialization part so you should not call activity result launcher dot unregister on the returned activity result launcher so attempting this will result in an illegal state exception and then we'll do the task inside this so we'll put a try catch we'll add an account variable to get the result from api So you have used API exception class on Java. So if the account that is equal to equal to null, then the text will be like Google sign in failed. So and then in the else method, we'll be calling the email and the display name of the registrar that is if i am going to register inside the google sign in if the account uh, is null then failed message and then if there is an account then it will get our email and our display name sign in inside this will get the email where account dot email and then a display name will be like account dot display name you can also get other things of the two of the register too you can also get the profile picture <coughs> And then need to add add the catch. We'll put the API exception over here. And the text will be called as Google sign in failed. And then here we'll call the auth view function which we have written in the top that is the auth view and the error text the text will be the google sign in failed then the on click method will return the text as a null but it will call the launcher to launch the sign in request okay done and then inside this we'll add the user the user the variable which has already uh, remembered by the state we have used which has been extended to the authentication view model so auth view model uh, will do that in shortly okay 
so we'll design the home screen inside that we'll put the email and the display name of the register so we'll design the home screen and then so inside this home screen we'll put the user we'll create the user class so it's a data class where we'll get our email and the display name we'll create a package model and then inside that we'll add our data class user We'll add the variable email and the display name. Okay, this should be under this. Yeah, done. Okay, then we'll go back to our home screen. So here we'll design our home screen. So I have used a scaffold over here. So we'll put everything inside this uh, space. That's a container type. Uh, okay. So I have used an inner padding. So inside that I have used a column. So we'll add a modifier. We'll fill maximum size of the screen. We'll add the padding. So that's the inner padding and then we need to add a alignment and uh, the arrangement that's our email and the display name will be displayed at the center so we'll use the center horizontally and and then we'll add the text hello and the display name of the user Then we'll add the font style and the size of the font. And then uh, we'll add a space between the display name and the email text spacer. We'll add the spacer, say 10 dp, and then uh, next to the spacer sorry below the spacer we'll add a text of our email we need to create a view model we'll add auth view model so this extends the view model class we'll add a private variable that is the user mutable state flow the value will be null and the user will be like will assign it to the user and then we'll add a suspended function we'll add the email and the display name as a string so we'll delay this to 2000 seconds for network call for simulating the network call we'll add the user dot value to this user class which we have data class the value from email and the display name over there so and then now everything is perfectly fine and then we'll run this and let's see 
how our output comes out so in the way so we'll see the output now okay app has been installed and then we'll open okay this is our google sign in button ui it's working perfectly fine and then yeah that's my mail so okay <coughs> Ta -da! finally google sign in has been completed so yeah like and subscribe to my channel keep watching the videos we'll be posting new videos soon and then we'll see you in the next video until then i wish you an awesome day bye bye